Yeah, good luck finding a job with that useless degree. And how are you going to pay your student loan? You should have listened to me. Good news is you get to go back in time and listen when I told you about the most useless degrees. What's up everybody? Sadia Khaf here. I'm an electrical engineer doing PhD in machine learning and on this channel we usually talk about engineering, machine learning and highly paid scholarships. In today's video we are talking about the seven most useless fields. Honestly, I don't know how anybody would even want to bother wasting their time and money for 4 years. The emphasis on money because I believe that any time spent in learning something is never really wasted. Even if the only thing you learned was a lesson that this is the most useless degree out there. We're analyzing these degrees based on the time and effort involved in studying them versus their job potential, number of jobs available and job satisfaction. And hey, if any of these degrees is your passion, then by all means go ahead study that in your own time. You don't need a degree in that. You can study those degrees from one of the best universities in the world who offer free online courses in them. You just won't get a piece of paper, a degree in that. And I'm just saying, if something is your passion, you don't really need a piece of paper to prove that it's your passion. You can get good at that. You can still study that for free. You don't need to accumulate the student debt, and you don't need to spend four years of your time studying something. So with that out of the way, first up on my list. in no particular order are fine arts and this includes music photography videography singing sculpting painting culinary arts interior design and more and there are two reasons this is on my list or why i think this is a very useless degree and the first reason is a piece of paper is neither a requirement nor a guarantee of success in any of these fields and the second reason is None of the great artists or musicians really went to an art university or had a university degree in these. If you want to become very very good in at any of these fine arts, all you need is time, patience, skill, and maybe learning from a master, but you don't really need to go to a university for that. You don't need to get a 4 years degree in that and you definitely don't need to spend 4 years worth of money and accumulate student debt to study that. because keep in mind studying fine arts can be very very expensive and i'm going to do some ballpark figures here but a fine arts degree on average can cost you about $200,000 in the US on the difficulty scale i would give it a 4 out of 10 on the job prospects uh, starting salary of on average for these fine arts degree is somewhere around $36,000 a year I would give it a 2.2 on the job prospects because finding a job with a fine arts degree is really really hard so a 2.2 out of 5 on the job prospect scale and when it comes to job satisfaction I would actually give it a 3.6 out of 5 not me actually glassdoor would also give it a 3.6 out of 5 because artists are usually somewhat satisfied with their careers overall I will give it a uselessness score of 4.7 out of 5 with 5 out of 5 being the most useless degrees. Second up on my list is history. And here's why I think history is very very useless degree. Ever heard of books? Libraries? You can just go to a library. Forget even a library. You can just go to Amazon Apple Books, Audible, wherever you read your books and find any books you want to read about history. Why do you need a degree in it is just beyond me. Why would you waste your money or your parents' money studying history when you could simply just buy these books for much cheaper without spending so much money on college education is just beyond me. So for me history is a very useless degree. An undergrad in history costs about $120,000 in US. On the difficulty scale I would give it a 2 out of 10 because it's not very difficult to read books. And the starting salary of history with history majors is about $61,000 a year which is not great. When it comes to job prospects this has a 3.7 out of 5 rating when it comes to job satisfaction it has a 4 out of 5 rating which is not very bad but not great either actually no it's it's pretty bad 
So the overall uselessness score for history comes out to be 4.6 out of 5. Next up on my list is history of art. You know, what's more useless than history and art? History of art. What does that even mean? I mean, and why couldn't you just, again, buy some books and read it? So, history of art, a degree in it does not make any sense to me and I find it absolutely useless. If this is something you're passionate about, just go buy some books on Amazon and read them in your own free time. Do something better with your life. Because an undergrad degree in history of art can still cost you somewhere around 160,000 US dollars. The difficulty level for a history of arts degree would just be a 2 out of 10 according to me because reading books is actually fun. Why would you find it difficult or why would you find it difficult to major in a history of arts degree? Just I read books for fun. So 2 out of 10 is still me being generous with the difficulty level here. The starting salaries on average with a history of arts degree in the US are about $51,000 which is on the lower side. When it comes to the job prospects, it has a 3.4 out of 5 rating and when it comes to the job satisfaction, it has a 3.5 out of 5 rating. Overall, the uselessness score for history of art comes out to be 4.9 which I think is the highest on my list because I find it to be the most useless degree out there. And that brings me to number four, which is psychology. Now, this is going to be very, very unpopular opinion because psychology is actually a very, very popular major. And the reason I put that on this list is because some of the negative aspects associated with a job as a psychologist can be erratic job schedules, the stress of being responsible for trying to help somebody else find happiness in their lives and isolation in workplace. Also, in psychology, you need to continue to do more and more courses in order to keep the most up-to-date licenses. The statistics in psychology are quite bad, so I do not recommend anyone a major in psychology. An undergrad in psychology costs again about $200,000, on the difficulty scale, it's actually one of the difficult ones, so I would give it a 7 out of 10 difficulty score. The starting salary of a psychologist is somewhere around $79,000 in the US, which is not bad at all. When it comes to job prospects, at least in the US it has good job prospects and it, it's rated somewhere around 3.8 out of 5, but that's not the case everywhere around the world. In countries like India and Pakistan, the job prospects are very, very low. When it comes to job satisfaction, psychologists rate their job satisfaction to be somewhere around 3.7 out of 5. On the uselessness scale, I would give psychology a 4.2 out of 5 rating. And this brings us to one of the most controversial degrees on my list, which is none other than engineering. Yes, yes, I know I'm an engineer myself, but listen to me. Engineering has become very, very saturated in some parts of the world. So if you're in US, electrical engineering might be fine, but if you are an electrical engineer in India or Pakistan, it's a very, very saturated field. There are way more people graduating as electrical engineers every year because it was a very, very popular field. Then there are actually jobs for electrical engineers. So being an electrical engineer is really bad if you are in India or in Pakistan. Same goes for an environmental engineer. If you are an environmental engineer in Pakistan, chances are you're not getting a job. And the similar scenario applies to industrial material engineering. In the US, electrical engineers, environmental engineers are in demand, but in US, there is another problem. Nuclear engineers are now so out of demand that the growth rate for nuclear engineering in United States is minus 8%. So don't quote me as a as a generalized statement on this engineering overall is not a useless degree but some engineering degrees are very very useless depending on where in the world you are at the moment so do your research don't generalize my statements i 
hate generalizations and i am not a fan of people who make generalizations but what i'm saying is do your research before you select any engineering major select the number of jobs available in your country or in the country where you want to work after graduating before you choose any engineering major because remember an engineering degree is not cheap and not easy an undergrad in engineering will cost you somewhere around 200000 us dollars and on the difficulty scale i would actually rate it 9 out of 10 as an engineer myself i can testify to how difficult becoming an engineer is so and this is almost as difficult as becoming a doctor studying medicine so one of the very very difficult fields out there when it comes to salaries engineering is not actually bad at least in united states and canada overall the average salary of engineers in united states and canada is around 86000 which is a very very good starting salary when it comes to the job prospects i would rate it 3.5 out of 5 and also when it comes to job satisfaction again 3.5 out of 5 although some engineers are not happy with their jobs with their workplaces and they are quitting engineering to become managers or switch their fields overall engineering on the uselessness scale scores a 4 out of 5 number 6 on my list are the language degrees hey if you want to learn a language just use online courses or move to that country and learn the language why do you need a degree in a language is just beyond me i i do not understand why you would want a degree the only reason i can think of is maybe you want to teach that particular language but even if you want to teach that you don't really necessarily need a degree unless you're very specific that i want to teach at this university and they require this degree and without this degree i cannot teach this language because if you just wanted to learn a language and teach others that language you could just create your own online course on skillshare or on or on some other websites and just teach people that language so if you want to study languages study in your own time without paying money take some online courses move to that country learn the language teach others the language if it's your passion do it you don't need a degree in it i'm just saying a degree in any language studies is completely useless according to me languages are not very expensive when it comes to studying them you can get a language degree at an average cost of undergrad degree of about 160000 difficulty hmm how difficult are languages Well, it kind of depends on the language, so it's very difficult to give a ballpark figure here. But I would still give it about a four out of ten difficulty. I would say starting salaries when it comes to a language degree are not great at all. You can expect an average salary of about fifty-five thousand dollars, and that's basically it. Also, there aren't many jobs available for different languages as a language teacher. The rate of employment is three point four out of five. and the job satisfaction is actually 3.6 out of 5 which is not very bad teaching people different languages is somewhat satisfying job overall when it comes to languages and a degree in languages i would give it a 4.4 out of 5 on the uselessness scale number 7 on my list is cultural studies what does that even mean you want to study cultures Fine, go move to that country and study the cultures all you want. Observe the culture live, in person. If you want to study a dead culture that does not exist anymore, again go to the library, buy some e-books, read some books, and study as much as you want. In general, I'm not a fan of degrees for which you don't really need a degree, where you can just easily buy some books, read it in your own time. and study it as much as you want if you're passionate about it you don't really need a degree in cultural studies or cultural education that being said a cultural studies degree can still cost you around 200000 on the difficulty scale it's not difficult at all so i would give it a 2 out of 10 when it comes to starting salaries of people who study cultural studies it's not very well paid i'm not even sure what kind of jobs are out there i just i'm just taking these figures from glassdoor but i have to dig deeper and really figure out what are the jobs that people who study cultural studies are doing but 
on average they are earning about $42,000 a year which is somewhere near the bare minimum. Finding a job is really really difficult so employability score for this is 2 out of 5 and when it comes to job satisfaction it has a general score of 3.4 out of 5. The overall uselessness score for cultural studies comes out to be 4.8 out of 5. So cultural studies might be the second most useless degrees out there after history of art. So I noticed in these useless degrees comparison that engineering is still one of the most highly paid useless degree on this list. An average engineer at Apple makes about $127,000 but that's just Apple. Other engineers also expect a starting salary of about $86,000 a year. But if you really want to know if despite being very difficult and very highly paid, engineering is a useful career or not, I have a more in-depth video right here. So if you are interested in engineering, you don't want to miss that out. See you next time.